is it not working? Hmm, I think it's working. We just see that you see everything here. Okay, lovely. And good morning, everybody. I hope you had a nice week and mine was quite relaxed. Uh, missed my husband a little bit. He was for his karate seminar in Cape Town, but obviously enjoyed it. They really, really um, had uh, some big, big classes also in some uh, some townships in in um, Cape Town uh, well attended and Ben said absolutely fantastic talent there too so he really really enjoyed that one so let me just see um, let me just scroll down here when you can see me and hear me just uh, send me please some uh, um, comments in there so that I know that all our technical aspects are working that would be lovely and then I would like to know from uh, where you are joining and uh, then uh, we will dive into the topic in a second let me just um, Tabo, hello hello uh, Tulani good morning lovely seeing you here that is nice Okay, joining from Johannesburg, yes, that is great. I've been there not last weekend, but the weekend before for my karate session. So, yeah, so and it was hot the, the weekend before, crazy. No, lucky for me, I was a bit worried that I'm freezing there, so but it was nice and warm. Dylan Dealer, good morning, nice. Michelle, good morning from Kimberly, nice, okay. So, what are we doing today, this morning? We are talking about the um, elements of a successful business plan. Maybe just let me first quickly introduce myself. My name is Dagmar Breiling Marie. I'm the CEO and the funding strategist here at Funding Connection. And what do we do? We assist entrepreneurs accessing funding. We do that by drafting professional business plans. We do the financial forecast for you. We can do feasibility studies, market research. And um, then in the second part, also assist with the application process. We determine just where do you qualify, you know, so only because you have an idea, it doesn't mean that you qualify for all different institutions. We have a look where you really qualify for. We make sure that all the small little bits and pieces are in place and then we assist you with the application process. Good morning from Newcastle, Ziboni, so lovely. Okay, so what you always need to think about, um, there are, you always need to think about your goal in mind. What do you want to achieve? Yeah, and in some cases, uh, so we were just ask for uh, some people from overseas, from Los Angeles, they want to invest here. In property to do some feasibility studies for different locations for them so and their approach is okay we have the money we just want to see what is our return on investment yeah and what are the cost the legalities if you want to do a project like this here that's not a problem we can do that we know exactly um, they want to see at the end of the day is does this make financial sense to them yeah Tulani, okay. Missed the business plan masterclass for which free templates were given as bonus. Can I be invoiced? I'm interested despite it having uh, passed. Um, yeah, Tulani, not a problem. We definitely can do that. Just contact my office, yeah, and then they will be able to, to do that for you. Um, so, Kobe from the Western Cape, um, Fala. KBY, I, I'm sure it's Kimberly, huh? So, and Nraki Miriam from Meadowlands, Soweto, okay. So, and so you always need to think about what is the goal. In most cases, for you, it, the goal is to raise capital, yeah? 
So you need to think about always what does a financier wants to see. And it also, so they want to, of they, there are a couple of aspects they want to see so that they feel comfortable lending you the money. So this is the most important part. And what lots of um, entrepreneurs are doing, they are so much in love with their product or services that they forget to show the financier how they earn the money. Yeah, the business model needs to be absolutely clear. And let me tell you, simplicity in this case is your way to success. You know, so if you need, oh, we want to offer this and these people will get it, but these people will pay for it and because they can advertise then here so that they, and you, you know what I mean, yeah? So make sure it is easy, straightforward transactions and that you also have a market um, who is willing and capable to pay for it. Yeah? There are always a difference between wants and needs. What somebody wants is great, but what they um, um, I don't know. I'm always struggling with this. Maybe you can help me. So, so the one part is I, I uh, um, people know I need this, but on the other side, uh, what they want is maybe different. Yeah, they are not willing to pay for it. Um, Tasca, good morning, and yes, and um, he also says hi to the to the audience. Lovely, thank you. I think all the good morning is from for everybody here. Yeah. Okay, so let me just. You see, I'm all over the place this morning. I opened a business plan, and I will just go through this so that I will not forget any topic. Yeah. Most important part is showing. Um, how much money you need, what you want to offer, for how much money you want to sell it, what are your profit margins, what is your target market, what is your expertise. Yeah. So all these, you, you see, all these things is what will make sure that your business is running at the end of the day. Yeah. Let me just, I opened here one of our business plans and I just want to go through this and I will I concentrate really because this lesson here is if you want to do that on your own yeah you can of course also the more money you want the more detailed and more aspects you also need to have in a business plan and I will mention this as we go first of all executive summary short and crisp what you want to offer how much money you need for what you need the money not in detail, you know, but you have so much for equipment, so much for working capital. Um, if there's a big amount for marketing, maybe even you mentioned these, or if there's a big amount for property, then you mentioned that. Yeah, so, so just an a overview so that whoever reads it knows exactly, ah, this is what they want to do. You are laughing now, but let me tell you, sometimes I read a business plan from A to Z, and I still didn't understand what they wanted to do. Yeah, That was only clear after then I had a look at the financial forecast and understood a little bit more and it was still uh, more guessing than anything else. What I always recommend is do the executive summary at the end. Yeah, Just skip this and say, okay, I know I need to do this. It's a summary of everything else of what I will develop. So then, um, the next part, what you can put in the mission, vision, or these things, objectives, values, under the executive summary, if you feel like you need this, it's not crucial. Yeah? So what is crucial is the company ownership and the company structure and maybe your company history. That is what financiers really want to see and understand. Yeah? Who is the driving force? What is their expertise? What is their experience? And if you have history, please mention it. Yeah, that is critical. Let me just see if there are any questions here now. Mm, no, 
I see Jay Precision Engineering said also good morning to everybody. Okay, let me go to here back. So the next part is all about your products and services. Explain what you want to offer. Yeah. Um, I don't know, maybe you want to sell uh, wheat, you know, so and to uh, explain a little bit the quantity, the qualities, the hectares, you know, so, 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 um, still short and crisp, yeah. It's not 20 pages about your product and services and, and five pages about everything else, it's the other way around, yeah. Concentrate on most important uh, parts of it. Um, in this specific business plan, um, they also had, you know, how do they, it's a service business, how do they want to offer their services, what you need definitely to cover are your suppliers, if you have some partners, talk about them. Now we also say, okay, how much, what sort of assets and equipment do you need to be able to uh, offer your services or manufacture your products or produce your products. Um, we always double check what sort of permits and licenses do you need. If you want to do that on your own, please make sure you have these things in place. That's definitely critical. Um, compliance is also a portion of it. Um, what is important, but if you leave that out, I just want you to know that you need to be compliant. You're getting money from most of the cases from government and even from any financier. They want you to be compliant because otherwise your business will be shut down. I experienced that. And there were a couple of times when I said, I'm a little bit worried about this. It can happen that they shut you down. No, 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 no. And then uh, we finished the business plan. They were already trading. They were doing an abattoir in the middle of a um, residential area. I said, you can't use it. Make sure your zoning is correct. Yes, we are busy with it. I said, okay, so let's do the business plan. I can only highlight my concerns, you know, and then we finished it off. And then the um, client said, Dagmar, they shut us down. I need to find another location. At the end of the day, was not a problem, you know, so the business plan itself stays, they just found another location. But this is, a, uh, uh, is definitely a, a throwback and try to avoid it, yeah? So we've spoken already about location is important. They want to, the financier wants to understand where do you want to operate, you know? And I mentioned that a couple of times, you know, so somebody had 100 staff all working in the office and a 100 square meter office, um, cuddly office, I would say, you know, so it's not going to work. That's why they want to understand that. Also, if you do manufacturing, you know, so that they understand, okay, this is the equipment, the equipment needs a minimum room workshop of 100 square meter and uh, you just have a hundred square meter including ablution and, and office. There's already a problem, yeah? What you try to do with all these details, you try to minimize challenges at the end of the day, yeah? And I opened also, I'm not too sure if you know that, I, I worked for Staples in the USA, uh, in, in Germany, but Staples is from the USA. It's one of these big office suppliers. Um, their um, shops, retail spaces are as big as some of the big, uh, bigger uh, build it, yeah? So they have, uh, they have lots of office supplies, furnitures, equipment, computers. So it's really, really, really big. They were opening every three months another shop in uh, in Germany, um, retail space, it's not a shop, it's more a retail space. Every, and they were really experienced because they also had, of course, the experience from, from abroad. They were still, always you can, there's only so much you can anticipate and there's still always things they go wrong. So 
try to anticipate and be clear about as many details as possible. Um, there will be enough uh, challenges later on. Yeah. Let me just see. Okay. Morning, everybody. Luwazi Spender specify. I'm not too sure what that means. An ownership who's in driving who is <laughs> morning. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> yes, I'm laughing. Tato, good morning. Okay, so um, let's uh, uh, let's go on. Um, oh, under the ownership, maybe uh, the gender. Yes. For some programs it is important because there are some specific women program uh, funds available and then uh, that's where you definitely need to um, yes, mention your agenda. Okay, so pricing, next one. So now we know exactly where we are, we know what services we want to offer. Now they want to know, they don't, the financier don't want to know I'm making a million rand sales a month. They want to know exactly, I'm making a million rand sales a month, I'm selling things for 400 rand, so I'm selling 100,000 units a month for 100 rand. Yeah? So these are this with the pricing and later on with the sales is absolutely important because this is usually where I start. Yeah, I have a new business idea or somebody comes to me and asks me, I say, okay, for how much are you able to sell it? And then we break it down. You break it down per day, per month. Uh, is this a realistic number? Yeah. And then you can say, hmm, okay, looks a little bit high, but uh, maybe just dive a little bit more into it. And there is a market for it. Um, and you are able to sell that many units. Or you say, oh God, that's really unrealistic. Yeah. So what I've done with uh, with one of our coffee shops in Germany, where my business partner would love to be in one of these absolutely expensive uh, malls in Hamburg, and then we just, I did just the math and said we need to sell so many coffees an hour, every single hour. I don't see that. Yeah. Just to cover the rent. You know, I didn't even calculate on paying staff, paying material, anything else. Just the money would be 100% profit goes to rent, uh, to to the rent. And I said, no, it makes no sense. Yeah. Okay. So here, this is now we cover usually in our business plans the market. We have a look at the general South African economy. We update this every three months when uh, Statistic SA is updating the numbers there and uh, about speak about speaks about the um, the last quarter then depending on how much money you need you definitely need to have some sort of industry research get an idea how big the market it is who are the big players maybe in this market who are your because the big players are usually not your not your um competitors yeah your competitors are usually in, in, in the same size it depends on the market of course yeah can be that you want to try as a small little business to uh, to compete against a big competitor um, but that can be difficult there are some challenges in there yeah have a look at your target market then too um, do you want to target end users then you need to have a look are they enough living in your area do they earn enough money to be able to pay for your product or services. Um, we always say you need to have some offtake agreements or even contracts in place, depending on the industry you are, just to make sure that you can show the financiers, I was out there, this is what people said, they will use me, they will buy from me, they are happy with buying 100,000 units, 400 rand a unit from me. Yeah. Um, 
have a look at your direct competitors either way in your area for some other companies the direct competitors can be even national and in some crazy cases even international yeah then uh, do a SWOT analysis think about your strength your weaknesses okay this is what analysis the two usually means okay what are the things what you really need to do to um, to have a look at and are impact are um, factors they affect directly your company yeah and then there are opportunities and threats and this is for the full industry yeah, it, it doesn't matter, uh, it's for you, but also for, for, uh, for your competitor. Then we start with sales and marketing. Have a look how many units you are able to sell. Uh, so, and be clear about cost uh, um, pricing means that you also need to then to think about your selling price and of course your cost prices. Think about your marketing, what marketing strategies you want to use um, and explain that although financiers usually want to have these offtake agreements, in some cases you can't have offtake agreements, then you need to have some strong marketing strategies. Next part, management and staff. You know, so the business owner can be separate from, uh, uh, has maybe additional management, you know, so maybe let's say you're maybe really, really good at sales, but you need to have an operations manager or a um, um, factory manager in place to, to make sure that your factory is running properly and you can concentrate fully on your sales. Yeah? Okay, and then we are close to the end already because now we are talking about the financial projections your assumptions, your investment, your monthly expenses. So just to make sure that you have all these numbers also in your business plan included. Okay. Lwazi Tabo, does gender play a part? Yes, it does because sometimes there are specific women uh, funds available and that's why you then need to, to make that clear that the business is maybe 51% women owned. Yeah? Just don't, um, there is something of course regarding the BE level, if there's 51% women owned, um, then uh, that business uh, has another BE level, but before you change anything, just make sure these things make sense. Yeah, you just can't go out and say you're female. Congratulations, you are now my business partner, because the financier also expect your business partner or your uh, management or sh a shareholder to be involved in management position. Yeah, okay. So, I hope that definitely helped here. Um, what I just want to um, want to say, because I only have a couple of more minutes here before my next uh, meeting. Good morning, Lucky. Um, so, if you have any questions, you have two options. You can go to Facebook Messenger. Um, please use the Funding Connection Facebook uh, page and Brent is there on the other side, he will be able to guide you. You also of course have the possibility to go to our website, let me just add this, fundingconnection.coza slash contact. Um, you can also use this um, and then Brent will be able to, uh, to guide you and recommend the best next step for you, yeah? So, I hope that was really, really um, helpful. If this was helpful, I would really like if you could send me some, uh, some summaries there and say, yes, this is definitely something that was eye-opening. This is what I learned today. Tulani, their business-going concerns I'm interested in to expand. 
and can do my total turnaround strategy and make them profitable again. Why do most funders do not like such businesses for which it won't be possible to do projections on them since they are making losses year on year as a result of perhaps poor strategy applied? Do turnaround strategies attract investment in South Africa? Investors see return on their investment or they are taking as assumptions? Okay, let me just... Um, uh, so, so the other question, financial forecast, always does need to be included in the written part, but you should have an Excel spreadsheet next to it. Yeah, okay. So this is quickly to answer this other one. Um, the government institutions will not finance a business what uh, makes a loss. So what you need to do then, you are not buying uh, the business, you're maybe only buying the um, equipment. You know, so maybe this is a way around it, or you need to find uh, private investors to say, okay, this is what we want to do. Or if you are starting, you just say here, okay, let's do a turnaround strategy and let's see what we can do. There are some options out there also to raise capital for it, also with government institutions. Um, yeah. But. Yes, the strategies really need to be uh, uh, really strong, yeah? Um, usually if a business is failing, there are, are a couple of aspects. Uh, marketing is not good enough. Sales is not strong enough. Maybe the products are not even profitable. The equipment is maybe too old and they have too many downtimes. There are lots of reasons, you know? why a business is failing. One thing what I also learned over the decades of experience is you always need to adapt to the market. The market is always changing with or without COVID and you just always need to see, okay, what do my clients need at the moment? And they obviously just forgot that. Okay, pleasure, okay. Luazi, thank you, Dagmar. Herman, appreciated it. Thanks, CEO, for sharing. <laughs> Pleasure, Tembi. Okay, so let me just go out here so that I can have my next meeting. I just, um, and they were a little bit struggling with the questionnaire so that we can do that here for them and get this market research also done for them. Like I said, we are not gone, Sheila. Pleasure. We, we are there for you. You always have access to us via our Facebook Messenger or our website I shared with you. Um, we definitely will. Oh no, I don't think we are. Uh, it's Friday next Monday. Is this correct? I know it's Heritage Day. I like uh, South Africa. <laughs> it does make a Friday out of it. <laughs> but Bri is already Heritage. I think so. So um, there will be nothing on next uh, next Monday, but we definitely will see us again then. Okay, take good care, everybody. See you soon. And I wish you all an absolutely successful week. Oh no, two weeks ahead of you. And we'll see us soon. Bye-bye. Pleasure, Rangwana, Tulani, Tato. Pleasure, pleasure. I enjoy these Monday morning webinars. Okay, take good care. Bye.